Well, Nigel, beyond a much-deserved three points, what did that 4-0 win on Saturday at home to Port Vale give you and the players? Uh, I think confidence and belief that we're always uh, in need of. Uh, any team is in football. And I thought it just everything sort of came together and a lot of things went in our favour on Saturday. Uh, maybe little things that haven't been going in, in, in recent games at times. You know, the break for, that we got for the second goal. Even the first goal, you know, it's come off the post. Uh, Ollie's right in there, he's hit it again, hit the post, hit the goal and gone in. Little break, second goal has just broken for Jordan in the box, you know. Sometimes you put plenty of balls in the box, plenty of quality and it just doesn't fall for you. Uh, it fell for us on Saturday and we took advantage of it. A hat-trick for Jordan Barry, that's five goals in a fortnight now for him. Prior to that, he'd only scored one goal this season. How have you gone about getting the best out of him? Uh, well, Andy Garner, first of all, encouraged him to do some finishing after training, which apparently he didn't do before. Uh, and I think it's a habit as well of, of scoring goals, whether it's in training or in games. Uh, and just doing that finishing and building his confidence. Uh, and then he gets the goals and I, I thought his third goal, uh, even the whole the move from the team, uh, is a goal of the season contender. Uh, but his finish was exemplary. Let's move on. Salford City tomorrow night in this rearranged fixture. In truth, will this be a more severe examination of your players? Yeah, no disrespect to um, Port Vale or anybody else, but you know the, uh, the resources that Salford have uh, and are throwing at it, they make no uh, bones about where they want to be and their ambitions. They want to get up the leagues as quickly as possible through the leagues. Um, uh, and they fund it accordingly. So there'll be a lot more quality on the pitch uh, and it'll be a sterner test in lots of ways. But I want us to approach it in exactly the same way as we did Saturday. Let's just speak about the opponents more generally. Uh, I don't know how closely you followed their journey, but it, it seems a fascinating one. What have you made of it? Uh, just that, it is. Uh, and it's, a, it's almost like an experiment that you know some uh, very wealthy uh, owners uh, can fund a club from lower down in the leagues. Um, Somebody compared it to, because we played them in the cup when we were at Burton. And somebody said, well, it's quite similar, really. So no, Burton did it without any money. Uh, that's the difference. Uh, Salford have uh, significant backing, take advantage of that. No criticism of that, uh, but they've taken advantage of that. Uh, and I can see them in the next, I think, three or four seasons, you know, being in the championship. That's how far you think they can go? Yeah, when you've got that backing, uh, you know, I think the salary cap and, and everything will probably hamper teams like them a little bit more than most uh, but I certainly think they can get to that sort of level no problems at all. Back to Mansfield you'll get this question now often from me in this month of January because the window is now open have you got any update for us? No not unfortunately uh, we're just sort of going through our list of targets and everything, making contacts and things like that and seeing what's out there available. Uh, but nothing's changed in terms of, you know, two or three players in, hopefully, uh, with a, probably a, a similar number going out to make way. And uh, just in terms of players currently here looking ahead tomorrow night, just to, just to confirm this one, is it still Nicky Maynard and Callum Gordon who you'll be without tomorrow? Probably, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll assess them. Uh, but I, w I would think we'll be without them. Uh, so it'll probably be the same 18, not necessarily the same starting 11. Uh, there's a couple carrying knocks and, and obviously uh, we'll, we'll have a look at them after training and, and see what they're like. And uh, on Saturday, of course, James Perch was preferred to Corey O'Keefe at right fullback. Just take us through your thinking there. Just the experience, really. Uh, Perch was playing very, very well. Uh, when he came, uh, when he got injured, uh, so just wanted his experience there at right back. Uh, he's played there plenty of times throughout his career. It's a little bit harsh on Corey, uh, and we feel for him because uh, he played before we came in. I think he was ever present, you know, playing in that position, uh, right back or right wing back. But we can only go on what we've seen so far. Uh, Kellen's done very well, uh, and then we just went with Perchy ahead, ahead of him on Saturday. How different a match are you expecting tomorrow night, Nigel, than from the 4-0 win on Saturday? It'll be, it will be different. Uh, but as I say, our approach has got to be the same. I thought the way we started the game in the first four or five minutes was, was brilliant. We want to put teams on the back foot. To get an early goal is a bonus, but that's the aim when you start the game.